Hi guys, this is your reading for Saturday the 5th of November. Thank you for joining me. I'm still using the Glastonbury Tower for this reading. Let's have a look at what is coming up today. Beautiful image there, first of all. Wow, it's a very practical couple of days here. We've got the sun, the grail, the beautiful grail. The story is that the holy grail is actually buried underneath Glastonbury Tor. Um, and I don't know if that's true, but there's certainly something about this place. When I first came to visit, I've experienced a sense of peace like never before. And it's known as the heart chakra of the world. And the energy here is just amazing. And in terms of my personal intuitive work, working here just takes things to a whole different level. And I'm just supported by the area. So here we've got the sun. The grail, a great sense of enthusiasm, a great sense of inner richness. That's what this is about. Your inner cup is running over with joy and, and value and your own unique gifts and talents. And the holy grail is within. The next card is the eight of vesicas, patience. So, you know, working on this inner fire, on this inner amazingness that you've got going on, which we all do, that unique divine spark of life. If you work on that and try and make it practical, so if you try and express it through art like he's doing, you have to be patient and you have to keep working at it so that the physical reality looks like the inner reality. You know, it's one thing, I mean, I'm certainly no artist, but when I was at school, I had art as a as a as a subject and what always what I always noticed that I'd have these amazing ideas in my head and these amazing pictures would just float into my brain but when I actually got to putting them on canvas they looked nothing like that I was always like so disappointed it's like this is such a letdown <laughs> it looked so much better in my head so the point is to keep practicing until you can express that beauty that you've got within in the outside world. And don't be discouraged if it doesn't immediately look amazing. You know, if you're a singer and you're not immediately seer, then keep singing and keep practicing until you get there. And then finally, the seven of vesicas, harvest, that patience is going to pay off eventually. You will be able to smile and and harvest the fruits of your labor but you've got to keep at it and you've got to be patient things don't just happen overnight and that's the message for today so if you're someone who's working at something creative or if you've been trying to get a certain job and it just isn't happening if you're an actress and you're trying to make it work and you just get rejected after at audition after audition then keep at it that's the message today that whoever is watching this video today, the message for you right now, listening to me speak here, you're supposed to keep going. You're not supposed to give up yet. If you have patience and you keep working, you'll be able to enjoy the fruits of your labor eventually. So number wise, we've got 19 and 8 is 27. And um, 7 is 34. Three and four is seven, and seven is about mind and creativity. So keep being creative, and keep being positive, and keep being productive. Eventually, you'll get to where you want to go. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. If you'd like, if you need some support and guidance in terms of what your creative outlet should be, what your life purpose is, what your soul purpose is, what you want, what you feel you should be doing for work and money, and if you don't know exactly what that is yet, then please get in touch with me for a private reading. The website is gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab and you can order your reading with me there. Please remember to subscribe and I'll speak to you tomorrow.